Hello guys! In this video, we will learn about the streams in the classes that is used for reading and writing files. I will be giving sample program and will discuss about file input stream, file output stream, file reader, and file writer classes. This video also covers the file navigation. We will have sample application that utilize file class and selected methods. We will also discover creating and reading directories. Before we start, click the subscribe button and the bell icon so you will be notified for the next video. Also, leave a comment below. Thanks! Let's start with stream. Stream is a flow of data that you can either read from or you can write to. We define this as a sequence of data. There are several streams that we can use for input and output. These are the file input stream and the file output stream. To understand the origin of the class, file input stream and file output stream, let us see the hierarchy of classes which deals with input and output streams. The basic streams are input stream and output stream. They are both descendants of object class. The file input stream, byte array input stream, filter input stream, and the object input stream are direct descendants of input stream, while the file output stream, byte array output stream, file output stream, the object output stream are descendant of output stream. File input stream. File input stream is useful to read data from a file in a form of sequence of bytes. File input stream is meant for reading streams of raw bytes such as image. Objects can be created using the keyword new. For example, the object f is declared and instantiated using the file input stream and its corresponding constructor. The constructor takes file name as a string to create an input stream object to read. Or alternatively, we can use the file class to create directory followed by input stream object to read the file. Input stream methods. Once you have an input stream object, there are a list of helper methods in which can be used to read two streams. So these methods are the close method. This method closes the file output stream and releases any system resources associated with the file. The finalize method. This method cleans up the connection to the file. It ensures that the close method of this file output stream is called when there's no more reference to this stream. The read method. This method reads the specified byte of the data from the input stream. Another read method, it reads the R length bytes from the input stream into an array and returns the total number of bytes read and uh, available. So it gives the number of bytes that can be read from this file input stream and return as an int. File output stream. This stream is used for reading data from the file. File output stream belongs to byte stream and stores the data in a form of individual byte. It can be used to create text file. File input stream is meant for writing streams of row bytes such as image data. For writing streams of characters, we might consider using file writer. The stream could create file if it doesn't already exist before opening it for output. Examples are shown below. File output stream methods. The following are useful methods that can be used to write or to perform operation on the stream. The close method. This method closes the file output stream and releases any system resources associated with the file. The finalize method. This method cleans up the connection to the file. It ensures that the close method for this file output stream is called when there's no more references to this stream. The write method. This method writes a specific byte to output stream. Another byte method writes the W length byte from the mentioned byte up to the output stream. The following is the demonstration of input stream and output stream. File reader and file writer. In Java, file writer and file reader classes are used to write and read data from text files. File reader class. This class inherits from input stream reader. File reader is used for reading stream of characters. For reading stream of row bytes, consider using file input stream. This class has several constructors to create required objects. The following are list of common constructors provided by the file reader class. 
File Reader Constructors This constructor creates a new file reader given the file to read from. The second constructor creates a new file reader given the file descriptor to read from. The third constructor creates a new file reader given the name of the file to read from. File Reader Method File Reader Method has three read methods. The read method reads character into an array. This method will block until some input is available. Uh, the close method is used to close the reader. The skip method keeps character. This method will block until some character is available. File Writer class. File Writer is useful to create a file writing characters into it. This class inherits from Output Stream class. The File Writer is meant for writing streams of characters. For writing stream of row bytes, consider using File Output Stream. File Writer creates output file if it is not present already. File Writer Constructors. File Writer Constructors are used to create File Writer objects. The first constructor requires file. The second constructor requires file and boolean. The third constructor asks for file descriptor. The fourth constructor asks for string. And the last constructor asks for string and boolean. File writer methods. This class has four write methods with different parameters. The first write method has e. The second has array of characters. The third one has a string. And the fourth has string and in. And the other two methods are flash and close. The following are demonstration of file reader and file writer class. File navigation. File class represent the files and directory path names in an abstract manner. This class is used for creation of files and directory file searching, file deletion, etc. See the following example. File constructors. The following is the list of the file constructors. The first constructor is file parent and string child as parameter. Second is file with string path name as parameter. Third is file with string parent and string child as parameter. Fourth is file with URI as parameter. URI stands for Uniform Resource Identifier. This constructor creates a new file instance from a parent abstract path name and a child path name string. This constructor creates a new file instance by converting the given path name string into an abstract path name. This constructor creates a new file instance from a parent path name string and a child path name string. This constructor creates a new file instance by converting the given file uniform resource identifier into an abstract path name. This is the list of useful methods of class file. Number 1. Boolean can execute. This method tests whether the application can execute the file denoted by this abstract path name. Number 2. Boolean can read. This tests whether the application can read the file denoted by this abstract path name. Third, boolean can write. Test whether the application can modify the file denoted by this abstract path name. Fourth, compare to. So this method compares two abstract path names lexicographically. Number five, boolean create new file. Automatically creates new empty file named by this abstract path name. Number six, create temp file with string prefix and string suffix as parameter. This method creates empty file in a default temporary file directory. Number 7. Delete. This method delete files or directory denoted by this abstract path name. Number 8. Equals. Test this abstract path name for equality with a given object. Number 9. Exist. This method tests whether the file or directory denoted by this abstract path name exists. Number 10. String absolute path. This return absolute path name string of this abstract path name. Number 11. Get free space. This method returns the number of unallocated bytes in the partition. Number 12, get name. This method returns the name of the file or directory denoted by this abstract path name. Number 13, get parent. This method returns the path name string of this abstract parent's path name. Number 14, get parent file. This method returns the abstract path name of this parent path name. Number 15, get path. This method converts this abstract path name into a path name string. Number 16 is directory. This method tests whether the file denoted by this path name is a directory. Number 17 is file. This tests whether the file denoted by this abstract path name is a normal file. This returns a boolean value. Number 18 is hidden. This tests whether the file name by this abstract path name is hidden. It returns a boolean value. Number 19 length. This method 
returns the length of the file denoted by the abstract path name. Number 20. List. This method returns an array of strings naming the files and directories in the directory. Number 21. List files. This method returns an array of abstract path names denoting the files in the directory. Number 22. MKDIR. This method creates a directory named by its abstract path name. Number 23. Rename to with the parameter file. This method renames the file denoted by this abstract path name. Number 24. Set executable with the boolean executable as parameter. So this method is a convenience method. So this is used to set the owner's executable permission. Number 25. Set readable with the parameter boolean readable. This is also a convenience method to set the owner's read permission. Number 26. Set readable with the parameter boolean readable and boolean owner only. This method set the owner's or everybody's read permission. Number 27. Set read only. This method marks the file or directory name so that the only read operation are allowed. Number 28. Set writable with the parameter boolean writable. This method is a convenience method. This method is used to set the owner's write permission. Number 29. To string. This returns the path name string of this abstract path name. Number 30. To URI. This method construct the file to URI that represent this abstract path name. Let's now have the sample code for class file for file navigation. We will be using selected methods in the sample program. Let us open our code editor window. Then we type the following code. On our code editor window, the code should look like this. This class name has file property. The main method contains try block to catch and throw exception. Inside the try block, we create a text file myfile.txt and we use the create new file method to create file inside the if statement. We display and use the different file methods such as get name, get path, get absolute path, get parent, and exist. We also check if the file exists. If the file exists, the program will display the properties of the file. And we also use the method can write, can read this directory and length. And the last part of this code is the catch method, which will display an error message and print stock trade whenever an error occurs. Upon completion of the code, we will save it on our folder, lesson 4. We will save this file as file property that java we will open the command window and we will locate the source code then we will compile it by typing java space file property that java and to run we will type java space file property and the output will be displayed on the screen. Thank you. Thank you for watching.